welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be covering some interesting tools based upon adobe photoshop so first of all last time i just covered this crop tool and perspective crop tool and then frame tool also was covered frame tool shortcut was k eye dropper tool actually is used to pick the color of any part of the image so Suppose I click on this eyedropper tool, and suppose I want to pick this color of a wood. I just click it here. You see here the circle comes and it shows the color at the bottom. What color I am picking, and then if I want to paste it somewhere, I'll just make a new layer. And because this tool I have, paint bucket tool I have taught you. Suppose I want to just uh, use this color. Which I have just now, with the help of eyedropper tool, I have selected. If I click it, you see this color, the same color of a wood. So just now I'll delete this layer. I don't need this. Just for explanation purpose, I was telling you. So we were covering this tool, eyedropper tool. So I hope this is clear to you. Rest of the things we will be doing afterwards. Uh, spot healing brush tool. very beautiful tool when further tutorials i'll teach you how to clear the face of a human being or a any any person then these tools are very you know helpful so i'll click on spot healing brush tool j is the shortcut and then you could see here slippers are kept here no actually it is not looking beautiful in this image i want to delete this so how to delete this simply Uh, this tool will be helpful spot healing brush tool if i am selecting this you know this circle with caps lock key always you can offer on and if you want to increase or decrease the size always the angle brackets along with the enter key you can just see make it bigger or smaller so i'll make it bigger and simply nothing i have to do i have to just go where my slippers are kept in this image and just have to click it and just see the magic it's gone the whole part has gone okay so again i'll do undo uh, just for a demo purpose i was showing you how to give now first tool is okay spot healing brush tool and some of the places it works fine other one is healing brush tool this is also very beautiful tool more advanced than spot healing brush tool if i click on this tool what i have to do i have to first Spot the area which part I want to copy in the place of slippers. I'll press Alt key. Just see this kind of arrow comes, and then I'll select the area. Suppose I want to select this area. This area will come and take this place. So I'll just press left mouse button here, and after pressing the left mouse button, I'll just see you could see it takes the part, and either you can directly, like you can just place, move the mouse cursor in and there, and your slippers will go that means it is used to delete the unwanted parts and uh, merge it with the rest of the image again i'll do undo command then two options i have told spot healing brush tool healing brush tool patch tool now using patch tool uh, this is also beautiful tool you can just select like this after selecting like this suppose suppose now i have to move this part now it is changing suppose it is changing me like this but i don't want this part this part looks okay and you see control d to deselect you see again it has gone again i'll do control z control d so this part all three parts of you know healing tools is been clear to you spot healing healing brush tool patch tool content aware move tool uh, this is also a nice tool if i click on this one and then i'll just select like this and then if i'll move now it is going to the other place if i am moving the slippers you see here and then press enter key it will take little time and you see the magic it has deleted from this part and it has gone to this part as if the slippers were kept here i can move it like here also from there 
make it smaller because it is little far and then press enter key now because this area is darker and that area is lighter so it's not looking that much good so i'll undo it and if i just want to use this con this tool just i want to select this part and then drag this part here on the top so this will also work okay so i hope you are clear with all these tools spot healing healing brush tool patch tools content aware red eye tool i'll be teaching you when i'll be covering the uh, portraits of human beings and when i'll be teaching you how to make them uh, means darker or lighter uh, working with skin tone that time i'll be teaching you how to use red eye tool okay so with this i am closing my tutorial and if you like my explanation please do like share and comment and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it okay bye bye take care meet you soon in my next tutorial